go for a swim, see if we can find a couple of big, juicy, nice ones. And we're not gonna eat it. Trying to step on an urchin. Yeah. See that yellow there? That is a sea urchin gonad. One up a teeth, baby. What? It's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're actually hoping for no wind this morning. We'll just see what happens, man. It's, I'm already having so much fun just because it's the unknown. Like, look at the big yak there, the big canoe. <laughs> Are you ready, Strata? Are you ready? Come on, up again. Up, 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 up. Come on, up. Come on, up again. Yeah. The first time Strata's ever been on the yak before. Look at you! Born for it. Chuck us a paddle. Go down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It worked. It worked. I was a bit scared when the big dad bot hopped on, but. Woo! <laughs> we hit the first spot that we're going to try. Jackson's going to just suit up now, hop in the water about capsizing us. And uh, see those ledges right there? That's what we're going to go after right there. So those ledges running along there. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're looking for a big sea urchin. If you don't know what a sea urchin is, those spiky buggers, when you surf on a walk on the reef and they get stuck in your finger, and they like keep embedding themselves in more and more and you can't get them out and they get infected and they're pain in the ass. But we want to eat one. We want to try and eat one. So Jackson's looking for one now instead of a crayfish and we've got a new mission. We're going to eat ourselves a sea urchin. And I'm drifting way away. I need to turn this bad boy around. It's getting so blowy as well, which is super hard for poor Strider on the front here. Hey Strider. Let's do a Yui, huh? <laughs> Hold on Strider. Woo! Look how pretty. That is a big sea urchin, and we're gonna have a crack at that. We're gonna eat that. That's a monster, man. It's massive. Imagine nice stepping on that. Oh, look at your gloves. Yeah. Did you get any in your hand then? Yeah, those ones. Come over, look. Come bring it here. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, that's. Holy shit, Jackson! How do you reckon about this, Strider? Uh, what do you reckon? Go, Strider! Whoa! Oh man, what a mission that was! Jackson's just coming up right now. We'll check out his finger. It looked pretty gnarly. Let's get the canoe back on the car and uh, go cook ourselves up some sea urchin. Oh shit! Woo! This is awesome. Looks like a couple little fans coming down the beach there. I spot. Yo! This guy's gonna be on an episode. Yeah. Yeah! Oh no. Eye for an eye, but right, we're gonna eat that and it got you. <laughs> It's like a big sea coconut. <laughs> oh man, you don't want to sit on one of these things. I will chuck him in the esky. It won't be very long at all before this guy passes away in here. Ah, you bugger. And we're super, super excited to eat this. We've never actually eaten one before, but we know you can, and we're gonna give it a red hot crack. And I'm starving, so that's gonna be the best lunch ever. I'm just gonna say, we have fire, baby. <laughs> We got fire, baby! <laughs> oh, you look better than me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this, I really like it. Yeah, but yeah. Something special for you, but it's brand new, but it's got strider hair all over it. But these aren't even out yet. And it's a hell bucket. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Make sure you stick them on your dad's car. All over them. Thanks. Oh. On the back. Yeah, on the back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Send it. Yes! Look at that! <laughs> nice work. It is 50 degrees outside right now, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the glass off. Woo. Hell yeah, it's so nice. We just snuck around and found ourselves a nice little bay protected from that breeze that was coming over this morning. And uh, it is absolutely beautiful right now. Hot as balls, but it is so hot right now. I'm actually burning my feet off. So we're gonna take it out to the sandbar out here, sit in the water and have a good old feed of this urchin. Underneath the actual urchin is the best place to grab them. Especially this one. This is actually like the gnarliest urchin you'll probably find anywhere. This is big mama and there's spikes from hell on it. Let's get out here and I'll explain a bit more about it. So I can't believe me and Jackson haven't really dug into these before because around here, they're literally in so many numbers. There's big ones, small ones, different colored ones. They'll eat anything really. They're full grazers, but they're like seaweed and kelp and all that. And what happens is it gets caught in their um, spines and they bring it down around and the mouth is underneath the belly there. And that's how they feed. And they just, there's no real predator for these except for there's a few tusk fish and other fish around that will eat them. And you sit in this little deep hole. Mm. Ah. Oh, the, it is literally like a bathtub. <laughs> Bastard. You won't get it. And when you do get spined, one, it hurts like shit, and they're very, very prone to get infected. And what actually happens is because of the way that they are serrated, when you play with your skin or try and work its way out, they actually semi dig themselves in a bit deeper. So they're an absolute bugger to deal with, and that is an absolute doozy. So I'm going to have to operate on that when I get home. All right, so this is actually the biggest urchin ever. Anyway, this right here underneath it is the mouth and it looks like an alien. It actually does. Check it out. Zoom in on this jacket. Look at the teeth there. So that is just, look at that. You want to actually keep these guys chilled. The cooler you can get them, the more nice it is because we're not actually cooking this. We're eating it raw. Anyway, so what you want to do to open these up is a few techniques. We're no experts, but we do you know what we're doing. So you want to cut the mouth out, which is this thing here. So you just... Poke it in there and it will be full of salt water and all the crap that it's been eating. So you want to grab it. So that's all salt. Oh, it's freezing cold in there. There's five edible parts inside this urchin that you can eat. There's five different sections of an urchin because they are from like the starfish family. The that we're eating are the gonads. So they're the sexual reproductive organs inside uh, urchin. Urchins can be male or female, but they pretty much have the same gonads. So it's a Russian roulette where you're going to get balls and sperm or roe, which is the female eggs. So we have no idea what we're going to eat, but <laughs> there we go. It's one side. Good use for the knife. You want to try and keep the gonads separate from the, all the other guts and stuff in there because you don't want to, you know, stick your finger in there and just go and mix it all together because essentially then you'll be eating like crap. There we go. Oh no. So what color you're looking for when you open these up is a bright like yellow, golden color. These are quite dull and not that nice looking, but we're still gonna eat them. That is the uh, mouth, they're this teeth and that's what all the food, all the crap comes in. Right there. Is, is what we're gonna eat. It's an old ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not a ball sack, Jackson. This is eggs, female eggs. Oh, that looks like it's not a good one to be eating. Sort of a brown, dull, not nice version of it, but I'm gonna have a munch on it anyway. I'm gonna have a good chew, we'll see how we go. First initial taste is salty as, just tastes like the ocean. And then like it's really, it's not that bad. As in like I thought that was gonna taste like absolute garbage. It's a bit of a fishy taste because I think this is a really not a nice one. 
but it's also so like the texture is really creamy um, sort of like melts a bit in your mouth like it falls apart but I reckon what we're gonna do is we should go find a proper beautiful coloration one and because I reckon there's potential for this to be really nice don't get me wrong I've eaten a lot worse than an off gonad but Jackson you want to taste <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's not really. It just tasted like raw fish. Hop back in the car, go around the corner, and see if we can get another urchin and hopefully a lot better flavoured. All right, well, I'm going to go for a swim, see if we can find a couple of big, juicy, nice ones. Fingers crossed, we got some beautiful roe in there. And I'm going to eat it. Step on an urchin. Yeah. I got one. Alright. <laughs> ah. ah. So we've got a couple of different treats now. Let's crack them open. See if we can find a good one, hey? Let's go back to our cave. All right, so got two different types here. Obviously, different colorations. Crack this big bad boy open. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. this is looking better. This is looking better. Yes! Eww. See that yellow there? That yellow is what we've been after. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna give this a wash out. We'll get it out and have a munch. Oh, That's the color you want. All right, guys, there you go. That's the better coloration that you want. That beautiful yellow texture. It's a bit more firm. It smells a whole lot better than that last one we ate. And uh, that is a sea urchin gonad. One up a teeth, baby. Oh. Yo, it tastes like a mango. Does it? It tastes like a mango. A bit, bit like a, of an off mango. That is really, really good. It's got like a sweet taste no i'm comparing it to a mango you know when a mango gets a bit bruised and it's a bit overripe that's very similar to what that tastes like absolutely beautiful i've never eaten anything like that before it's got like that creamy taste how good are gonads <laughs> jackson let's let's get that, that one out for you the other one must have been balls when back. you have that, the other one tastes <laughs> like absolute balls that yeah. it's getting better with the aftertaste you yeah, know just when you Get that beautiful coloured yellow gonad. I'm going to be eating sea urchins a lot more of the time, hey. But make sure you guys only take what you need. Look after the place. Jackson's going to tuck into this. We're almost running out of battery right now. So uh, that's it for another episode. Make sure you like it. Leave a comment. Jackson's got to tuck into it. Do you reckon it tastes like a mango? Definitely does not taste like sea what was that? It doesn't taste like seafood. Nah, what do you reckon it tastes like? Good, eh? Yeah, it's I can't believe it. I'll have more. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to tuck into some more of this urchin, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> so good.